Welcome to Anime Good Tips. My name is Ian Maigua, and today we're going to talk about how to animate the camera in Animaker. Now, the first reason why you create and explain a video in the first place is to keep the audience engaged with your product or service. So you can add the best visuals, the best script to your explain a video. However, if you don't add camera movements to each one of your scenes, it'll get the audience to be kind of bored of your explain a video. So to fix that, you need to add camera movement as much as possible in your explainer video. Now, Animaker has created a great camera tool that you can use to spice up your cinematography so that the audience will pay attention to the product or service that you're pitching towards them. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tilt the camera, how to pan the camera, and how to combine tilt and pan to create a really visually stunning explainer video. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is to get an Animaker account. So go to Animaker.com and sign up. Now I've put a link in the description, it's my affiliate link. This simply means that if you choose to upgrade from Animaker's free plan to a premium plan, Animaker Tips will receive a small percentage of the sale, but it's no extra cost to you and all those proceeds would help to help me create more content that will help you. You see, it's a it's a win-win for both of us, so I would appreciate the support. To create your Animaker account, you need to click the sign up button. I'll need you to scroll down and put in your name, your email, your password, or if you want to do it faster, you can click the Facebook button or the Google Plus button. After you do this, you'll see a big get started button right here. I'll need you to click on it, and when you do, you will see a variety of explainer video templates. For this tutorial, we're going to click on the blank template. So click use. Alright, once the Animaker project has loaded, you will need to click on the background icon. When you do, I need you to scroll down and click on the restaurant background. Now once the background is on your Animaker project, we're going to talk about the camera timeline. Now I want you to focus your attention at the bottom of the screen. You'll see three icons. You'll see a face icon, a camera icon, and a sound icon. For today's tutorial, I'm going to focus on the camera icon, so I need you to click on it. Now in the camera timeline, you'll see the black player head. I need you to drag it to the one second marker, and I need you to click on the camera in button. This will allow you to zoom in the camera, so click on it. Now, the next thing to do is to drag the player head all the way to the 5 second marker, but this time I want you to click on the back to frame button. When you do this, this will allow you to zoom out the camera. In the camera timeline, we have two cameras. We have the zoom in and the zoom out camera. Now, in order to play this video, I'm going to take the player head and drag it all the way to the zero second marker or at the beginning of the timeline. And now I'm going to press play. As the video is playing, you'll notice that it's starting to zoom in and now it's zooming out. That's how you animate a zoom in and zoom out. The next one we're going to do is the panning left to right. All right, before I ever animate the camera to move towards the left or towards the right, I always turn on the guidelines. Now these guidelines are very helpful because I can be able to use them to help me get a good idea of how big I want the camera size to be. So for this example, I want the width to be four boxes and I want the height to be three boxes. Now that I've done that, I am going to go and add the second camera. Oh no, it's small. But guess what? I have the guideline. So all I have to do is take that second camera, drag it back up, and make sure that the width is 4 by 3. Now you may be wondering, why couldn't you just duplicate it? Well, unfortunately, Animaker doesn't have a way to duplicate the camera. I tried. But with the guidelines, it helps me to still have a consistent size for both cameras. So this is what I usually use for now. Now I'm going to take the second camera and I'm going to drag it all the way to the right. Now we have the left one and the right one. Left one is the first camera, the right one is the second camera. So right now we're going to 
pan to the right. That basically means we're going to move the camera to the right. Now let's press play and see what we get. As we're watching the video, you'll see that the camera starts off from the left and then it's now panning to the right side. Okay, so now that you know how to pan from left to right, let's do the reverse from right to left. Now, in order to pan the camera to the left side, I'm going to take the first camera, move it to the right, and I'm going to click on the second camera, move it to the left. Now we have our first camera on the right side, and now we have our second camera on the left side. When I press play, the camera will pan to the left. So let's see the result. As I'm previewing the animation, you'll see that the camera is indeed moving towards the left side. It's panning to the left. Now that you know how to pan, it's time to teach you how to tilt the camera. That basically means to move the camera either up or down. The first tilt we're going to do will be a tilt up. So what I did was I grabbed my first camera and I dragged it to the bottom. Then I grabbed my second camera and I dragged it to the top. By doing this, when I press play, the camera will go up. Start from the bottom, then it will go up. Alright, let's press play. As you're seeing the video, you see it's starting from the bottom of the ground where you can see the road and then the camera is tilting up towards the sky. Now that you know how to do a tilt up, let's do a tilt down. Now to tilt the camera down, I'm going to grab camera 2 and drag it down to the bottom. Now camera 1 is on top and camera 2 is on the bottom. Let's press play to see what happens. As I'm watching the video, you'll see that we start from the top, from the sky, and the camera is now going down towards the ground. That's how you perform a tilt down. Now, let's mix it up by learning how to combine both tilt and pan. Now, the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to pan left, but tilt up. So in order to do this, I need to grab camera 1 and drag it to the right side of the screen. And then when I grab camera two, I'm going to place it on the left side of the screen, but this time I'm going to place it on the upper left corner. So camera one is on the bottom right and camera two is on the upper left. When I press play, you'll see that the camera is panning to the left, but it'll, it's going to be tilting up at the same time. Now the next camera move that we're going to do will be a pan to the right, but this time I'm going to tilt the camera down. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera 1, drag it to top left, then I'm going to gra drag camera 2 to the bottom right. When I do this, I will be panning to the right, but the camera will be going down. As we're watching the animation, you'll see that as we're panning to the right, the camera is indeed tilting down. Alright guys, that's pretty much everything you need to learn how to animate the camera in Animaker. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any suggestions, and I mean any suggestions of what you want me to create for the next Animaker Tips episode, please comment below. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Animaker Tips tutorial.